I hope I am audible. Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Okay, thank you. Essencing, sir, are you? Yes, I am here. So please, uh, yes. Good morning. On the behalf of Humanities and Management Science Department, I would like to welcome our eminent speaker, Professor Jyoti Rana, ma'am, our respected head of the department, Dr. Sudhir Narayan Singh, sir, faculties of the department, and all the students. Today, we have organized a web lecture on significance of skills for entrepreneurship development. So before starting this event, I would like to uh, request our uh, respected head of the department. Sir, please initiate the event with your kind words. Yes. First of all, uh, let me take this opportunity to extend the heartfelt warm welcome to seasoned academician, Professor Jyoti Rana, ma'am. Dean Academic Affairs and Dean SFMSR from Sri Vishwakarma Skill University. Ma'am, thanks so much for sparing your invaluable time out of your busy schedule to deliver a talk to the students of uh, management students of Madan Mohan Malviya University of Technology. Department of Humanities and Management Science is highly obliged that you cordially accepted our invitation to sensitize our students. I'm really grateful that you cordially accepted our invitation at the same time it's a great opportunity to open the first invited lecture of the year 2022 from first skill university of the India, of, of our nation. And yesterday itself, we all saluted our tricolor flag but we took we all took oath to serve our nation how can we extend our best services and how can we deliver our best in the service of our mother india and really it's an opportunity ma'am uh, in the month of november we also signed an mou with Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India, Ahmedabad, EDIA Ahmedabad, that, which is also one of the, you know, best ranking university and first Atal rank university in terms of innovation and all. Today, it's a big question that is it really joblessness or unemployment we are facing through, or there are certain lack of skills that we need to bridge up as per the demand of the second, third decade of the 21st century. Third decade in its two years already passed, and COVID challenges are posing demands for different kind of skills. And those skill sets are prerequisite and uncompromising demands of the professional world. Few companies are going down, but at the same time, few companies are bridging those skill gaps and making their revenue sky high. Where when it comes to required skill sets, who else can be a better resource person? 
than you, ma'am. You are the best resource person to listen to. And that's why I request all the participants to lend their ears for an hour or so you are deliberating upon. As this is the high time they may learn something that is the demand of the day and they can march on on the information superhighways and they can script their own success story. There will always be a few questions to be answered by the youth of the nation that whether there is really unemployment or we are lacking certain skill sets. And in my opinion, there is no lack of the and, uh, there is no lack of the employment, but only skill sets and upgradation in that area and orientations to the nascent upcoming demands of the industry that is required and for tuning well with them it's high time to listen to the resource person of the day my dear students i hope that you will be participating with pen and paper your approach should be highly serious as the resource person of the day is the most sought after speaker in this field. So over to you, ma'am, without hindering too much. I would like to uh, hand over the team of organization and Dr. Sonia Bhatt, who is always, you know, a great seeker in that way, who catches up good speakers for the skill enhancement of our students and heartiest welcome to the Forum of Humanities and Management Science Department. Thank you so much, ma'am, for accepting our invitation. Uh, for initiating the event, ma'am, I would like to take this privilege from your side. Like, I, I really feel very proud by reading uh, the uh, profile of ma'am, and it's really a proud for a woman. Like, I have seen a great achievement, especially a a uh, sponsor a uh, girl child education that is a really proud moment for all our uh, women for all the so i just uh, starting just uh, i'm just giving a brief intro of ma'am ma'am is currently uh, working as dean academics affairs and research and dean students welfare at sri vishwakarma skill university ma'am is responsible to contribute as founder chairperson of foundation for management research and training it's an ngo which is committed to work on three e mission education employment and expression through conducting talks workshop conferences seminars majorly for women as a corporate trainer trainer ma'am has trained more than 1000 officers and ma'am is a professional trainer of global credentials and history of contributing teaching expertise in promoting professional excellence across diverse functional disciplines. Ma'am is a member of learned societies like American Marketing Association, All India Commerce Association, All India Management Association, Higher Education Firm, Australian Academy of Business Leadership, Center for Education Growth and Research. Ma'am also received a number of awards like Academic Leadership Award, Siksha Gaurav Puskar, Eminent Researcher Award, Eminent Teacher Award, Social Contribution Award. Ma'am has delivered more than 90 plus talks in more than 50 plus uh, academic institutions, including central and state universities, business schools and colleges. And the, another great initiative done by Ma'am is Poetry Ki Patshala, which helps school uh, children of government schools and NGOs to learn how to read and write poetry and express themselves for their betterment. 
Ma'am has a great passion for poetry, and she has written four poetry books. I am the follower of your course, ma'am. And uh, ma'am have uh, developed curriculum and marketing area for state universities, B school, content development, and project for MBA students. Ma'am published number of research papers in reputed international and national journals. Although there are number of things which ma'am have done, but I really don't want to take more time, ma'am. So I really want to. Uh, Uh, hand over the stage to you it's all yours ma'am and thank you for accepting the invitation ma'am thank you uh thank you so much uh thanks um, uh, dr asen singh for uh, for welcoming and for your welcome address and for your generous uh, remarks and compliments and thank you dr sonia for uh, such an elaborative introduction although i believe you know that when i'll be uh, talking to everyone you know that i am an uh, ordinary individual who is uh, who is uh, fulfilling um, or who is on the path of duties so thank you very much thanks a lot for extending this invitation uh, dr singh and uh, dr bhat most welcome uh, most welcome uh, for reaching out to me and uh, for you know inviting me uh, to interact with young minds uh, basically and uh, in the area of entrepreneurship which is uh, which is very very important uh, it is important not only for job prospects and employability but i think it is very important for innovations for giving importance to ideas for giving importance to creativity which everyone has to identify that creativity and to bring a confidence in that creativity that that can be taken ahead and that can become a livelihood for that person so that is how uh, entrepreneurship word term or area is important i always think you know it is not important for Uh, for creating a livelihood only not important for uh, employability but it is important for hello ma'am somehow you are muted please unmute due to certain technical problem our resource person is uh, we are unable to fetch and broadcast her voice she will be joining very soon so students are required to bear with this technical lapse we are very sorry the lecture will start very soon and you all are requested to stay tuned dr sonia bhat please contact ma'am yes sir i'm doing it sir I'm doing it.
डॉक्टर सोनिया डॉक्टर सोनिया भट्ट यस सर एक्चुअली फ्रॉम मैम साइड दे इज अ नेटवर्क इशू प्रॉब्लम एंड शी इज एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू रीजॉइन इट सो वी हैव टू ओके ओके Yeah, I am extremely sorry. There was some uh, uh, glitch from my side. Am I audible now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so, so, sincere apologies from my side. No, it's for ma'am. Um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I I was just sharing with all of you, the students who are here, that entrepreneurship is important for us, not only for the employability and the livelihood. rather it is important for bringing a confidence in idea which uh, which can be which can be implemented by an individual and that individual can bring lot of changes through that idea it's not about that uh, you are you are earning something you are earning profitability and you are earning uh, you know profits uh, for your living but it is important that how as an individual you can bring transformational changes in the society you might have seen you know lot of in lot of startups are coming up and lot of creative ideas and this pandemic has really you know given us an opportunity to think about those things you know which were never on our uh, you know a thought process which we have never thought so uh, you know lot of lot of changes and we are connected through this digital platform you know that is also uh, that is also uh, uh, the gift of you know this pandemic and uh, it it becomes it 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 has become so convenient for us to connect and similarly you know it has given lot of opportunities to many people who can start their businesses in these areas you know they can uh you know they can provide lot of uh, digital solutions to different education institutions and the universities so it has given lot of uh, uh, opportunity to people you know who really want to create or you really want to help people to create especially the faculty members to create a very creative <clears throat> you can say <clears throat> sorry student engagement processes <clears throat> in the uh, you know classes so um, that is that is how i take this entrepreneurship you know and uh, that is how i feel that this is the meaning of and the relevance of entrepreneurship so let me share my screen uh, to show you something which i really uh, feel that will be really helpful for you can uh, can i share my screen yes ma'am if, if you have given me the option i'm not uh, finding out any option of sharing the screen wait ma'am i'm just i'm just... yeah so it is it is not visible on my screen that if i can share my screen Ma'am, in the top right, you will find there is a place. It is written "leave." Just by the side of "leave," there will be something arrow sort of thing. No, no, Sonia, ma'am, please make ma'am presenter. 
Yeah. So <clears throat> by the time, you know, they make me the presenter. So, uh, so I would like to, I would like to share a few thoughts uh, uh, on entrepreneurship uh, that why this concept has become very popular. See, there is an, uh, there is a uh, phenomenal change you, you might have experienced, you know, through this pandemic in the, uh, in the previous, um, yeah, you are an ex presenter now. Okay. Okay, ma'am, then in top right, you might have been seeing something. Uh, just in, by the side of leaf, there will be sort of arrow. Top right, I can't see anything. And top right, screen. in the red color, leaf is there, L-E-A-V. Top right. Okay. Yeah, and it's just sure. the side of that, there will be an arrow. Yeah, yeah, just... yeah, yeah. I'm able to, I'm able to, I'm able to. Yeah, so now I think you'll be able to see my screen. Yes, ma'am, it's visible. It's, yeah, it's visible now? Okay. Yes, right. Keep visible now. Right, 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 right. So that I was talking about uh, that what if what are the changes basically what are the changes um, uh, which we have experienced which we have experienced uh, during the last uh, uh, two years or you can say three years the first important change you know the whole world is changing and now it is uh, you know becoming more VUCA world and normally you know the explanation of VUCA world is that is. Uh, uncertainty, complexity, volatility. So that means these are or ambiguity. So with this uh, notion, I think now we need to convert this notion into that we should stand for that volunteer efforts, you know, you means umbrella of opportunities, right? C for compassion and A for that is ambitions. So a lot of ambitions, a lot of compassion, a lot of, uh, you know, opportunities in terms of, you know, uh, in terms of uh, digi digital platforms, in terms of online shopping, in terms of online retail, in terms of, you know, delivery, in terms of healthcare, right? They have come up. So the whole world is changing because now when you're talking about a market, so we need to discuss. Uh, uh, we need to discuss world as a market, because the technology has made it possible for everyone. Now we cannot think, you know, that if I want to start anything, you know, that I I must be restricted to myself, to my country, to my state, to my district. Rather, we need to think, uh, you know, about the world as a market. So we need to understand that how the, this the world is changing now. Every country is trying to, you know, approach to another country for market. So you might have seen, you know, in the case of vaccines. So how we are interdependent, you know, in terms of different countries. So when I say world is changing, businesses are also changing. Now you are sitting at your home, you know, there was a quarantine, there was a lockdown, you know, and you, you might have seen the importance of, you know, Flipkart and eBay and, you know, Walmart and Amazon especially. So now, uh, you know, the business people are also thinking that what will be my new consumer? What will be his or her thought process, right? Earlier, you know, the shopping, physical shopping was a pleasure for consumers. You know, they were going to the market. That was a time pass for them. You might be remembering, you know, maybe probably Mr. Uh, Singh might be agreeing to it, you know, in, when we were young, in our young age, you know, that it wasn't, it was a favorite time pass for the youngsters to, uh, to, uh, you, uh, to go to market and to wander and to just do window shopping and come back. But now uh, the businesses has to think, you know, the corporates has to think which kind of customers are coming, you know, what their mindset is. So that is also very, very important. Similarly, people are also changing, you know, that our priorities are changing. So now earlier, you know, the priorities were, priorities were that, uh, that 
that homemade food was a priority now the priority is working more and you know food has become a less priority nobody wants to cook in the kitchen now and in the world market you know you might have seen you know in western countries that in some of the countries kitchen is not operational at all and if kitchen is operational that is just for you know heating the food or just boiling certain things so similarly you know in indian market if i talk about uh, you know india and in indian context the consumers priorities are also changing now we don't want to go uh, to the market just for just without any information but we do you know we spend lot of time lot of time on internet and then we try to understand that okay that the people are uh, okay now we we are ready and we we really want to uh, you can say um, we re- we really want to uh, uh, we really want to s- compare and we re- we really want to see uh, that what can be the best price for me what can be the best price and how i can uh, how i can basically get the value for money so this is the important thing you know which uh we are looking uh looking at the corporates as consumers now the when i talk about people are changing it is very important to understand from an entrepreneurial mindset because my idea may be very good my idea may be very impressive but it may not suit people nowadays because their preferences has been changed right so now sometimes you know that they they are looking for if i talk about food business they are looking for ready to eat food you know most of the time because it is very convenient and you know at the you, uh, you know in in your um, occupied time when you are busy in the business you know then you can eat there are other uh, there are other uh, some you know consequences of that and which cannot be a good for health that's another issue but now the consumers are changing when i talk about the health issues uh, you know then one more very important thing which has come up now and that important thing is um, if i talk about that is uh, that is a uh, lot of youngsters are now going for you know health fitness lot of consumers are going for you know young mind youngsters are you know they are they are uh, you know they are gymming and they are taking the uh, you know food proteins uh, this is also has come up as a new trend right so why i'm sharing all these examples because you know the customer is changing their priorities are changing so that is the important thing we need to understand so these are the certain high, uh, you know highlights of covid you know if you can see on the screen that there are changes in the behavioral trends you know now the people are feeling more uh, you know emotional and they are thinking on their health priorities also and they are thinking on uh, you know uh, they are they are thinking on not about not about their physical health but on mental health also you might have experienced you know lot of meditation uh you know programs lot of online programs have come up that is also the venture that is also an you know startup you might be watching you know star track also so you might be you might be uh, you might be interacting you might be seeing that how people are uh, how people are you know interacting in that program that is also very important so this this is the basically crisis which had come and due to which you know we will discuss you know how the skills are important for an entrepreneur you know the pe- the corporates you know earlier they were just trying to flatter the um, uh, the consequences the effects of this covid and a new phenomena because every phenomena when it comes and uh, when it comes to the country you know it changes the business environment and when the business environment gets changed so definitely uh, that there uh, there comes you know lot of opportunities so after flattening you know they were fighting with it and they were thinking about some future uh, you know some uh, some uh, you know future propositions and they were just thinking that how we can uh, restructure our costs how you know we can we can maintain the liquidity how uh, you know we can 
convert our adversity into advantages so this is a beautiful example of converting adversity into benefits you know this covid has taught us that how we can convert the adversity into our advantage and how we can uh, you know make the best use of technology that is also very very important and how technology can bring lot of lot of insights you know when i'll talk about the skills you know please remember this technology is again the technical skills are really really important for us you know to bring and to be expert into and so that we can uh, we can we can uh, really uh, become good entrepreneurs right so now with this background you know that how this entrepreneurship is important you know and what it requires so these are the basic skills you can say the basic components or the basic skills uh, you know which is which are being required for an entrepreneurs the first important thing is that he has to he has a zeal of you know building trust based cultures right because not even a single person can start and can maintain and can grow any 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 business so they should think about that how you know how they can uh, make their teammates comfortable so they should work on you know human element i would say right so when i talk about human element so human element here i mean that is you know lot of lot of uh, you know thinking for others you, you know that working with others and working for others that is important and when i say that is working for others that means a leader an entrepreneur has to think about his or her team right that what they are thinking so and not what they are thinking but a uh, lot of importance has to be given to their ideas to their thought process you might have heard about a term that is called servant leadership right if you might have heard this term so it talks about you know that every leader has to give an importance to the team and importance to, to the team in terms of listening to their ideas giving importance to their ideas and learning from them so it's not only the ideas should flow from top to bottom but ideas should flow from bottom to top so that is the basic principle of servant leadership so when this kind of you know thought process will come uh, in any entrepreneur so i think that venture can 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 progress and you know the growth can be possible in the long run second important thing is that is working together and that is that is an quality that is quality sometimes you know there is an there is a debate on this you know that working together or interpersonal skills uh, you can name it as an interpersonal skills so whether it is inborn or it can be developed so my answer to this question is or to debate is that is it can be learned and it is a skill basically right so in interpersonal skills so you need to understand how to deal with others right because in this world everybody has a unique point everybody has pluses and minuses so now as an entrepreneur you need to focus on that on what point that you are going to going to focus whether you are going to focus on the negative point or the positive point so interpersonal skills should be learned and if you are very good at interpersonal skills you know definitely that's an advantage for 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 going in the area of you know entrepreneurship because you will need lot many people and you will need to deal with those people you know in a team you know if you might have seen in in your teams in your project works you know there are some people who don't Uh, who are not very proactive some are active some are proactive some are lethargic some are uh, you know slow learners and you know slow uh, uh, you know performers so you need to understand that what is their trigger point and when we are saying the trigger points that means you need to identify what motivates to them 
right what is the motivation level for them that is also very important to understand so a person as an entrepreneur if you are aware of that this this is the uh, motivation point of this um, team member so definitely you have that quality of working together next important thing is that is cross training that is also a skill so now you will see what what this cross training is cross training means sometimes you know you want to go and you want to explore the area of retail right so retail will be your major area but now in retail you want to take lot many decisions right and you want to you know you want to search lot of information in the area of retail you want to share you want to observe that what other retail companies are doing and what is the retail business scenario in india and in the world and you want to analyze the, that data and the data is huge so you might be requiring some skills you know like analytic analytics right so that can be the one area where you really want to Uh, you know learn some other things so definitely you should be open for certain trainings which are which are cross trainings which will strengthen your business and which will really be helpful for you to start your business i was going through one example you know um, that some youngsters they have start up one bike you know and that is bike with the multi purpose bike so multi purpose bike you know they are they are giving lot of attachments uh, you know with that and there is a purpose behind that so these are the three people you know who have started this venture one is from mechanical background one is from you know technical background and one is from business background so you require different type of exposure in your venture so that is also an important skill and area you need to see next important uh, area is you know integrity is really really important and yes you can develop that right i am of this opinion you know whatever uh, whatever skills you require you definitely you know you can work on that and you definitely you can you can put your skill put put your thoughts in that and on priority basis on consistency basis you know every time every time you know you can work and you can uh you can uh you know bring lot of lot of uh, you know changes in your performance so you might have seen you know some people have started this venture you know of uh, you know uh, sharing the modules on performance enhancement on productivity enhancement and on integrity also how you can bring you know this integrity that is also important thing and you can learn that if you have that thing in you you are the right stuff for the entrepreneurship and the purpose the purpose is very very important and you need to find out what is your vision and how your vision is converted into your mission and that will define your purpose so purpose is basically the philosophy for which you really want to be known for the next 5 years or next 10 years right for example if i am a trainer if i am a teacher you know that is my teaching is my goal but what kind of teacher i really want to become so that can be you know my my that can be my philosophy that can be my purpose so for an entrepreneur it is very very important to understand so these are the three things which i already shared with you that why this entrepreneurship why we want to think about that so for innovation you know if you are very creative you believe in innovations you want to provide jobs to others you want to be the job job provider so you want to work independently you want to show your competences entrepreneurship is the right area for you so you want to bring some changes see don't think you know that people who are starting businesses they are starting for themselves they are contributing to society as well because they are facilitating they are providing certain things to you know, to consumers which are uh, you you know making their life comfortable so don't think you know that only entrepreneurship is happening only for their business or for the profits uh, kind of a things next important thing these are the very important things which are really really required these are the skills you know which are really required critical thinking systematic thinking and the individual thinking now 
and let me talk about critical thinking i have just listed down the broader aspect here the critical thinking how critically you know you can uh, you can observe any uh, any data or any information for example for example i you, if you see the balance sheet of you know you want to explore the retail i'm taking the same example you want to explore the retail business right and you want to see that what kind of profitability this the you know uh, the retail companies are gaining for the last two years so what you are doing you are doing the uh, you know balance sheet of you know you are observing the balance sheet of of, of three companies let's say right in balance sheets you know when we talk about the critical thinking so there is a one way that you simply see the assets and the liability side okay and you see that these are the liabilities and these are the assets but when i talk about the critical thinking so when you are observing the balance sheets so you should be focusing on that which are the crucial components of balance balance sheets right now crucial components here means why so much investment in assets right why this sorry why liabilities are more right when you will give answer to all these why is you know why funds or why share capital is so much why debentures are like this right so when you will start you know stretching and answering these questions so automatically you know that you will be able to see those in those information which are not directly mentioning in the balance sheets so that critical thinking is important because because there is so much uncertainty so expertise is not only required to see and to observe that what is the financial statement of any business but to see why this kind of financial statement that is very important so that skill is required now how this skill is going to be you know inculcated i will come on that also because all of you are the students and you are studying so this is a very productive years of your education so how you should be focusing on these uh, things that is really important and how as a skill university we are doing then systematic thinking you know system thinking sometimes we call so there should be some systems for you know for solving any problem for solving any problem because you know in the world you know there are a lot of threats to creativity you if you will share your ideas and if there is no system behind that idea if you if you don't know that how to get this idea mature so that will be only imaginary idea so there this is a require of systematic thinking and for that it is required a road map right road map for that and for road map you know we prepare plan a we prepare plan b and we prepare plan c and sometimes we go to plan d as well so that if plan a fails then plan b works if plan b fails then plan c work if plan c fails then plan d works right so that means that you are prepared for the uncertainty in the market and it can also be developed then you know individual thinking is very very important why because you know there are uh, as i already mentioned you know that there are huge expectations from an entrepreneur so how that individual how that individuality is built that is also important and that comes from your priority that basically what is your purpose what is your priority and what are the possibilities in your business so i always call it that 3p model so what is the purpose what is the priority and what can be the possibilities and now i am coming to this point at how as in as in faculty we can facilitate these thinking among our students right critical thinking you know what we are studying you know in our um, in our university as well that we have developed the curriculum like this where 60% is the skill component in every in every course and 40% is the conceptual 
and how you can bring that 60% component you know 60% component into practice with lot of exercises you will have to lead that you know lecturing method of teaching you will have to focus on lot of exercises lot of experiments lot of you know case studies lot of uh, you know techniques lot of trainings in the classrooms so forget about you know the training you know, when the students are going in the industry and they are doing the training the classroom should also be converted into training uh, training you know um, uh, 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 training workshops i can say so how you can build you know plan a plan b plan c plan d you can if you are the management students you can easily develop this thing you know among the students through case study method and you know when you will try to develop this thinking and this skill among the students they will always be ready for the uncertainty whether it is you know for their you know for their subject planning or it is uh, you know appearing in the exams or you know preparing their business plans you know when their business plans are being prepared so have you ever thought you know why a student you you have done an mou with an premier institution in the area of entrepreneurship but have you thought you know that why why that has become a prem, premier institution why the students who are completing their education from those premier institutions they are becoming more successful what they do what is the unique thing which they are practicing they are practicing the implementation strategies and that implementation strategy teaches their their candidates to work on plan a to work on plan b c d simultaneously it's not grand plan if plan a will work only then plan b will work plan b will work on not work that then plan c will work plan c will not work then plan d will work no not at all so they work simultaneously on plan a plan b and plan c and d and then they you know start their venture so this is the important thing this is important thing which you need to understand so in individual thinking also that what is the purpose of starting any venture you know if your purpose is profits your whole proposition will be different if the purpose is you know that is uh, uh, you can say the purpose is uh, uh, um, yours uh, to bring a trust societal uh, you know changes your purpose will be totally different i was going through uh, you know a very interesting video a few days back uh there is one person uh, who was a mechanical who was having the mechanical background engineering background and he's left that job because he was uh, that was not matching with the purpose of uh, his life and he wanted to you know uh, help people support people you know poor people who cannot afford you know a food um, costly food so what i did you know that he started some uh, kind of uh, you know thali system and uh, you know uh, for rupees 40 he is uh, selling thalis to those people who cannot afford 200 rupees to spend on one meal so it totally depends you know what is your thought process and you should not adopt the thought process of others so this these skills are required and how again you know as an educational institutions uh, how we can develop these uh, these skills among um, among the candidates through all these exercises so we need to think before a teacher goes to the classroom he has to think you know that his session is focusing on which skill right what is the learning outcome of this particular particular session so what i am going to develop so that is also very very important thing to understand so now this this is becoming a very very important feature uh, basically that why we want to uh, you know uh innovate so now the question will come you know i have mentioned here innovative leadership that means i want to highlight here the important of importance of innovative skills now you will say ki this is the this is based on creativity innovations cannot be developed certainly they can be developed right and why uh, you know we want to develop those things why we want to have those uh, uh, competencies because you know that we if we want to lead we'll have to innovate there are two ways uh, to get success you know in life one is you know either you uh, 
uh, innovate either you you know start practicing something different something very unique or you you know try to follow um, those things which are uh, which are already in place but in a different manner so these are the two ways that how you can succeed and you 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 can get success um, you know in life so when you want to innovate so you need to develop that skill you need to be fast so you can you can experience it you know you can learn it from a lot of examples you can learn uh, you you can learn it from like you know take an example of apple why they are the leaders you know so they continuously innovate so the moment they launch their uh, you know iphone immediately you know they they start working on the another one and they start planning for even before that you know they start planning for their uh, you can say uh, the next uh, the next product so that is how they innovate so that is also a very important thing how to be innovative you know that you need to check that how close you are to be innovative check yourself how close you are to be innovative see these are the questions you know these are the questions i i want you to put one minute thought on this slide and just check just answer you know all these five questions just answer on all these five questions you know you will get to know you need not to uh, you know tell me the answers of these questions or these statements just need to introspect where you where, where do you stand on the quotient of you know innovation so are you creative so ask yourself i am keen to try new things as an individual rate you know one on five one is the highest and five is the lowest right so rate yourself then ask yourself i look at the positive side in every situation because for an entrepreneur it's very very important to be positive because a lot of risks you will have to take so that is also important rate yourself you know out of 1 to 5 similarly i take my decision by considering the need of others that is also important you know so uh, either you are you know self obsessed with your self goals or you really want to you know take uh, uh, take the help of you know that you want to start business for helping others then i believe in the development of my peers team team is important so how do you rate yourself in that and then i become you know i i i really become uh, you know the last uh, slide was just give me one minute that is i become humble in my difficult times so it will give you an idea that how you really want to uh, you know serve to humanity so just rate down so if the score comes you just add you know that the highest score will be you know one is the maximum so the highest score will be 5 so if you have the total score 5 that means you are very creative you have the human element you are very positive if you are having the score 5 but if you are having the score let's say 20 if you are having the score of 25 you know that means you need to work on uh, you know your individual thinking you need to work on positive side of your situations of looking at the situations you need to work on you know the uh, you need to think about the peers so you need to think about that so that is the way that how you can check your entrepreneurial mindset you can check your that how creative you are these are the important things you know which motivates an individual and uh, uh, which motivates an entrepreneur that how you know he wants to get encouraged for take the new things you know he wants to look at the opportunities he he really want to see the progress you know he really uh, you know really learn lot of lot of programs or you know attend lot of programs to have an orientation towards the achievements so that is uh, these are the factors which an entrepreneur should see that which kind of skills he really wants to include and it's in continuous progress right it's in continuous progress so you need to find out you know uh, the swot when you when when you are going for the basic skills you know i told you that is uh, you know that uh, you you must be having 
um, uh, the critical thinking skill, you must be having systematic thinking skills. And after that, you know, you must be the creative, you know, that is also the skill you must have. And, you know, the one more important thing that is technical skills nowadays. Technical skills are really, really important. So when you are doing the SWOT, right? So SWOT, that is you are seeing the strengths which really shapes your identity as an individual. You need to see that. What are the different points, you know? Because the strengths will help you to multiply your qualities. For example, you know, that if I, my strength is, for example, I am very creative and that is my strength. So that if I will be focusing on that, my creativity, you know, and if I'm using that creativity into my venture, that will multiply my qualities. That will make uh, me different from others. Similarly, you know, the weaknesses. Sometimes, you know, as an individual, your temperament can become your weaknesses, weakness. And, you know, how adaptable to you are adaptable to the, you know, situations that is very, very important in an entrepreneur, uh, you know, mindset. So that is also a skill, you know, that how you maintain your temperament, you know, because adaptability and persistence, these two things are very important, which are required for an entrepreneurial mindset. If you don't have how you adapt that situation. People say, you know, that opportunities does not give you the chance to grow. Situations and you, in those situations, your decisions, how you adapt that situation, that brings a chance for you. So that you need to see that how you will go and how, you know, uh, whether you are stick to the argument or you want to leave it and you want to learn from that argument and you want to go ahead. So you need to have this kind of adaptability and persistence for being a progressive entrepreneur. Similarly, opportunities, you know, when, how you get the opportunities, basically, how, how you identify the opportunity. See, there is an, my way of identifying the opportunity is when your talent, you know, you are very talented, but if that talented talent is not supporting or solving or not providing any solution to the society or to the world, so that talent is not going to benefit you anywhere. That will not bring any opportunity for you. So that means your talent should be in a position to bring a solution for the world. That becomes an opportunity for you, right? So how your work, you know, is contributing to the society, how your work is meaningful for the society, how your venture is meaningful for the society, that will bring success and that will decide success for you. So that is an important thing to understand. And then threat, there might be certain other people, you know, who might be doing the same business or some other business, but their strategy might be very competitive. So now the threat comes, you know, and how threat is being, you know, overcome. Threat is being overcome with the mastery, with the clarity. So this kind of skill should also be there. So how you will get the mastery when you will identify that, okay, these are the skills, these are the expertise, you know, which I require for, you know, getting my business successful. The clarity of thought, you know, that, okay, these are the thoughts and how I need to, uh, you know how I need to figure out that how the thoughts are being clear, what I want to do. So that clarity and the clarity will come, you know, when you will not get disturbed from so many things, you know. So you need to be focused and focus. You might have heard, you know, the story of Arjuna and the eye of that sparrow. You might have heard that story. Why Arjun could hit that just because of focus, nothing could distract you know him and you know the case was other Pandavas and Kauravas you know they were focusing on certain other things so as an entrepreneur if your focus is clear so you have the light of clarity and how you need to uh, have, you know the light of clarity you know a lot of other pollutants you will have to remove and those pollutants you know anger ego you know uh, jealousy competitiveness you know and need to be positive these things are very, very important. So these things are very important for you to understand and to have the, you know, 
the skills for entrepreneur entrepreneurial mindset these are the skills and i would like to highlight certain areas you know where uh, where you can uh, figure out that how uh, you know uh, how your startup uh, can be successful in those areas and what are the possible areas what are the demands i would like to show you uh, some other very nice report basically that this is a report by world economic forum i think my screen is visible you are able to see my screen yes ma'am yes ma'am okay thank you so i i just want to it's a very beautifully crafted report on the basis of certain data so as i was talking about that we need to see the world market so this is you know this is a report which is based on you know future of jobs in the world and so as uh, you know in the india also you can figure out what are the different areas right so you look at this you know that the employment trend you know and these are very low end jobs and why i am showing the jobs to you when we are talking about the entrepreneurial mindset because that will help you to figure out that which are the areas where you know the skills are required right and you know on those areas because you cannot start your business in isolation so you need to see you know where uh, where the people are seeking jobs where you can get the skills right how much skills you can get for your business so that is why it is very very important you know and there is a risk of automation always risk of automation but how that technology can support you you need to think that so technology intervention is really must for your business and it is really supportive for you similarly if you will look at the chart i would like to show i, I am not uh, you know showing uh, the other areas you look at these areas on the left side of the screen that where there are lot of opportunities you know where the people are you know uh, asking uh, uh, you know employability in those areas so if you can if you can start your ventures in those areas so you will uh you will uh, be in the position of win win position you know by mapping or matching the supply and demand in consumer goods area then in lot of financial uh, you know products are being also demanded so in that area also some uh, you know entrepreneurial um, initiatives can be taken healthcare is a booming thing manufacturing is there then recreation and travels you know although there was a totally loss of travel but how the new ideas can come you know to bring the transformation in these areas that is also important similarly you you know you can see uh, the retail also the retail is also important so software and it services and 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 boom uh, you know where you can uh, do lot of innovations so these are the areas i wanted to show i will share i can share this uh, report or this is available on net also if you really want to go through it will give you lot of insights uh, you know uh, insights about the uh, you know world market similarly you know it it speaks about you know that the skills uh, th there is an uh, you know decrease in the demand of certain skills also so you can think on that what are the skills which are being less required so what insight it will give you see no data is useless so now it is your critical thinking you know that how you take that idea how you know you 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 take that idea for making uh, it profitable for your business you look at the this is the increasing demand and decreasing demand also what are the areas where the demand is increasing and where the demand is decreasing if you have critical thinking so you can have lot of insights from this data uh, that what can be the possible areas where you should start your venture so that is why i wanted to show you uh, you know this particular um, report so uh, i was just talking about the swot analysis and if you swot analysis is complete you know i think uh, at the end i can say that uh, the commitment and commitment how commitment can be you know built through your routine tasks you know if your one day is wonderful and that is devoted to the skills 
definitely your every day will be devoted to your skills so the commitment is also very very important uh, which you need to understand so next is uh, i'm sorry just just wait a minute your you know creative power you can enhance your creative power lot of programs are there lot of programs are there lot of entrepreneurial programs are there please attend certain programs please attend certain workshops you know which can really train you and they will teach you how you can build your on, on your you know creativity compassion you know that you should be dedicated to to uh, achieve that empathy and courage uh, these are the important things which you uh, which you need to uh, you know bring uh, for an entrepreneurial mindset so i listed down certain areas where you can start your business you know health care is a one area then retail is an, an another area finance is a, an, another area now the people really want to invest more because you know everybody is scared what can happen so next important area can be the technology even in your education sector there is lot of scope right into food business there is lot of scope so you might have seen the successful example of zomato and swiggy and other so different ways of traveling so you might travelogs are there right so you need to think that how there are two ways whether you can focus on the existing businesses but doing it in a different way and the second important thing you know that if you can uh, think totally differently so that is totally depends on you and for that your skills are required which i told you that is uh, innovative skills right innovative skills analytical skills are required so you can take some courses on analytics right which will help you to you know help you to take the better decision which is related to this as a decision making critical thinking critical skills to look at the data that is also important similarly your systematic thinking skill that is also important then your behavioral skills are very important and behavioral skills you know if i am saying so these are behavioral skills uh, are important for interpersonal relationship because you need to meet lot of clients lot of people you need to convince them you need to uh, you know tell them that how uh, your venture is convincing how your idea is convincing so with these thoughts you know that i am uh, just summarizing what we have discussed today uh, that is uh, uh, that is somehow uh, you know that i could touch certain areas and these areas were you know these areas uh, for me you know these areas were uh very very important and how as a skill university uh what we are doing as a skill university for the students because um the students really want to learn and they 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 ha they have lot of fresh ideas so we are running certain uh, programs which are focusing on entrepreneurship you know you know pg programs which are totally focusing on entrepreneurship and uh, you know in the two days two years program we uh, give lot of emphasis on uh, on boot camps and uh, on their you know projects and uh, their ideas and their business plans and everything so this can be the one step the second step you know we are taking as an skill university that we have made uh, the entrepreneurship uh, course compulsory for all the programs you know for all the programs so we have made that um, that thing compulsory for all the programs so that you know the students can get exposed exposed to you know uh, certain elements of entrepreneurship if they really want to start something so they they should be exposed to this particular element so that is also there and uh, you know we need to transform our pedagogy to develop these skills you know we need to focus that what is the learning outcome of this particular session and when we are focusing on this is the outcome of this session so we need to focus on that whether my computer course is bringing some skills uh, you know or it is inculcating some skills among uh, youngsters or not so we need to rethink we need to educate we need to rethink in terms of our pedagogy you know i always believe that the classroom should be 
converted into the training workshops and if the students are doing more so they will be learning more they will be at automatically you know learning by doing so that element should also be there so uh, again i am so thankful uh, to the organizers for giving me the opportunity and my sincere apologies uh, uh, for the network uh, in the initial uh, you know moments where we could experience some disturbance and now if there is any question i am open for questions thank you so much thanks for inviting me thanks for giving me this opportunity and uh, i hope i could make some sense i could make some you know uh, some some changes uh, in the thought process or i i uh, i'm really hopeful that i could make certain um, uh, certain certain uh, you know valuable insights or my thoughts thank you thank you very much thanks ma'am uh, thanks a lot uh we are also uh, inclined towards entrepreneurship education and uh, uh, to brief a few initiative that particularly our department is taking and has taken up initially uh, that our uh, even we are doing something out of the box and uh, that is not mandatorily required even Uh, our fair lady faculty members uh, like dr bharti is here and dr kakesha khan and uh, uh, dr priyanka rai they visited villages we have uh, adopted one village uh, uh, that is uh, uh, quite uh, remote village uh, remotely located and they visited there and they uh, they encourage the ladies for uh, pickle making and other things and small small entrepreneurial ventures Uh, uh they are doing a lot and not only that uh, as you made uh, entrepreneurial entrepreneurial education and courses compulsory for all program here also what we are doing we started um, in collaboration with edi uh, ahmedabad we started offering btech minors like a uh, student will be doing btech in computer science or civil engineering or in let us say any other discipline but he will be able to have btech minor uh, paper of 17 to 20 credits uh, paper and he may have at the same time btech minor in entrepreneurship development ed uh, uh, idea behind that that btech students while taking these uh, taking up these courses and if they wish they may uh, start up uh, they may initiate their own startups and uh, then mba also we have started a new specialization and we got it approved in our board of studies again uh, the initiative supported by edi ahmedabad uh, with their collaboration and you can say in their mentorship we could develop uh, new specialization papers and that will be offered to the student who entered this year in mba and they, they will be we we offer specialization papers in final year so they may choose entrepreneurship development as their specializations uh, not only that we are trying to develop our department as the government nodal center for the entrepreneurship development at the same time uh, there is one more proposal lying on the table of government of uttar state government of uttar pradesh uh, that is to develop this department as the regional office the regional center of uh, edp of uh, edi ahmedabad and uh, they are they are also supporting us very much uh, we had a training program for teachers as well and uh, approx 5 teach seven teachers of our university including registrar of the university we were supposed to be in hyderabad for availing this entrepreneurial training for uh, one week short term course they are having mous with uh, indian uh, few indian universities and a few overseas so uh, faculty members uh, five to seven faculty members of all those uh, mou holding institutions they were supposed to be there uh on during 18 to 22nd of january but few of the participant they uh, became covid positive and because of that the program was postponed 
and that may be rescheduled in uh, Feb or so uh, or March. So even we uh, on 24th of January means uh, two three days back uh, we uh, sent a letter to government of India uh, state government uh, and. Uh, a technical education department of UP government and uh, all those proposals and our initiatives we intimated them and we ourselves requested them that you either you can develop our department as the uh, nodal center for entrepreneurship development and we are committed here not to offer only to the students but to the uh, staff member faculty member or uh, you know community or those who are not even the part of the academic formal academic setup and they wish to develop or grow their entrepreneurial ventures so we are open to them we have a, uh, one design and innovation center where uh, one very small boy um, when he was in class seven he started doing some research in sensor based uh, technology and then battery operated vehicles so he developed his own uh, bike sort of thing and uh, uh, battery operated that um, and that runs with dynamo and uh, all and he got many awards approx 50 plus awards for designing that then he started working on drones our university is the center for excellence for uh, drone technology so he started working on that and he made uh, uh, modified and developed a few drones that may be useful for uh, military operations and a few other drones that may be useful for agriculture based uh, you, you know for for sprinkling fertilizers and all that he made uh, some sensor based water pumps for uh, that that saves that whether the uh, leaves of the plants are dry then it will automatically start the water pump and it will when when a particular level of um, moisture and uh, is in the soil it will automatically uh, close so he is working over there he made a tractor also uh, and uh, he is into lot many initiative confidential initiative with drdo and isro now the boy is of 18 years 17 plus and uh, he is in we're working with drdo and isro both and recently government of india uh, gave him honorary lieutenant colonel uh, you know entitlement so a rank was offered to him uh, he is uh, having five projects running uh, with him that is only one student and one of uh, one student of mba final year of our department i hope that he will be the part of this lecture durgesh are you there uh, we have a durgesh singh uh, student he recently got uh, uh, a letter of appreciation from uh, innovation cell uh, and uh, upcst council of science and technology uh, for his uh, innovative venture in food technology itself he is running a hotel uh, in gorakhpur city itself and it is uh, in a very highly unique way and uh, he he is uh, you can say already entrepreneur and having his acquiring his MBA education, Masters of Business Administration. So we are into lot many initiatives, but we need a lot because uh, we were earlier engineering college established in the year 1962. And uh, we uh, developed it into a university like in Haryana, you can see that decrust Murthal. Uh, Murthal, uh, earlier it was engineering college and now, now it's university. Similarly, in 2013, we were upgraded to a university. Uh, we started offering management education in the year 2001 or 2000, so uh, approximately 20 years back. So we have, uh, but we could develop as a department in the year 2019 on 22nd of June. Uh, Chief Minister of the state, uh, Yogi Adityanath ji, uh, declared uh, four new departments. So, a, a part of humanities, you can say applied science, and um, uh, that CMS, Center for Management Studies, was clubbed and Department of Humanities and Management Science was created. So, that way, as a young department, you can say comparatively new department of the university, we are trying to do our level best 
but I know that we need to do a lot of lot lot many things. Uh, and um, in the area of entrepreneurship, we need more and more extensive rounds of training, not only for students, but for the teachers as well. Uh, and uh, uh, that teacher training, multiple layer of teacher training for a skill upgradation or skill oriented education. Here in Gorakhpur, there are very few industries in terms of industrialization. Eastern UP is uh, not that much privileged, uh, but we need to work a lot and indus few industries are coming up. Uh, you are located in Gurgaon. I think uh, your university is in uh, Gurgaon. So that is uh, you, that way you all are very, very privileged. I worked in Haryana for approximately 10 years in the Technological Institute of Textile and Sciences, Bhivani, TIT Bhivani. Um, I offered my services for 10 years. I also served in Hindu College Sonipat uh, there for a few years in the early age of my career, uh, way back in 2004 and 5. Uh, but, and uh, 2000, uh, five to 2008 to 2017, I was there in TITS Bhivani. So I know the kind of uh, edge uh, that Gurgaon is having and that, that the kind of non-privilegedness we are having at Gorakhpur. But our uh, administration is also aspiring hard and promoting us, even uh, university administration to government administration and uh, they are focusing to develop Gorakhpur as the uh, you know education hub uh, like uh, economic zone so here education zone they are trying to develop and, uh, and that way focus is more on education uh, and entrepreneurship education so that way I think that if we can also convert our relationship into any sort of MOU that will be uh, I think highly beneficial for both of us in a way because uh, you are having some skill based training and we are having uh, you know manpower uh, that that wish to have training or the, that is going to you know cater to the emerging needs of the industries so we can that way um, enhance our partnership and um, that will be an added advantage to our department if you could uh, think seriously over this request of our department uh, as we uh, we are also willing to uh, take up new initiatives and I wish to target till I am on the chair of headship. Uh, my focus will be entrepreneurship education more and more and whatsoever I could do that will be um, you can say little that will be less on my part means uh, I can work day and night for this uh, entrepreneurship uh, skill upgradations. So that way, I also take this opportunity in the opening month of the year, this 2022, that we can open a kind of academic partnership if certain MOU is, uh, you know, suggested by you. Because uh, as per your guideline, we will be open and we would love to work if any kind of further partnership or uh, you can say academic ventures are coming together. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, and and uh, we are really happy to and lucky at the same time to have you here at this day and uh, immediately after tw Republic Day. Uh, you are uh, we wanted to have you uh, have your lecture pre-Republic, uh, but it was just time to be post-Republic, and uh, we could uh, wish you uh, happy Republic Day. And I hope that academically our partnership will flourish and it will move on a bit. Uh, any student who wish to ask any question quickly, because it is already, uh, ma'am has deliberated comprehensively on each and every point, but still if you have any doubt, feel free to interact. Feel free to ask quickly. Or even faculty member who wish to share something. Amit Verma, I got your request. Please unmute yourself. Hello, ma'am. Good, uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Yes, you are audible, Vijay. You can ask. Good afternoon. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, my question is: Last year, I'm planning to set up my own business, and the idea was, uh, meant to just prepare a recycle bag and fix it a solar panel inside that recycle bag, so people can access that to light while they study to study during the night time. But I, when I just go through the Google, I found that in South Africa. They they already implement in this uh, idea, and due to this uh, uh, copyright and due to this uh, uh, means uh, due to some technical issue, I'm unable to uh, implement that idea. So what should we do if we have any idea and someone already implement those idea for their uh, bread and butter? So that time, uh, what is the best option to implement your own idea? See, I think uh, you know because somebody somebody else is using uh, the same model. I don't think so. Exactly same thing. You know, if these are being happening, so my suggestion is that you need to check. You know, you need to see the each and every aspect of that business plan first. You know, the business model first, which they are which, which they are doing. And uh, you know, if you really want to start in your startup, you know, in that area, so probably you need to think, you know, that a little bit difference uh, you should make it. Otherwise, there will be uh, there will be a technical issue. There will be a legal issue as well. So uh, my suggestion would be that first uh, that you go through uh, the nitty gritty of that business. You know how they are doing it. And second, if that is that is uh, the responsibility of an individual, that if uh, you know somebody else is doing that same business in the same way, so if you really want to, you know, uh, make it successful, so you should you should put some difference in that. Not as it is, you know, you should uh, you should start your business. That is my suggestion. And probably, you know, with this. Uh, for this, you know, you can uh, take the help of any technical consultant as well. Amit, I guess you have. Sure. Um, Gunjan Mishra wants to ask oh. something. Gunjan Mishra. Oh, yes, I'm ma 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 yes. there, there is one follow up question. Allow me to ask. Yes, please. Okay. Wait. Uh, he's a. Uh, Ma'am, uh, this idea is uh, uh, should we go for implement this idea in countries or we can directly implement to uh, our local area? Means so uh, either is urban or rural. So I am not aware about you know that what was your thought process when you have started this idea? You know for for whom you wanted to start this idea? What was the market you might be uh, you know targeting? Because when you prepare your business plan, you know, you all all these uh, uh, important aspects you cover. So uh, it's not like that first you um, develop the idea and then you target the market. It's other way around, you know, that when you are developing your business plan, so you need to check or I need to see the complete business plan of yours that, uh, you know, what was your thought process and, uh, you know, that how you started and what who can be the you know target market exactly target market for your program it see uh, at the outset i can see uh, this this is this can be useful if useful for everyone but i cannot comment on uh, or i cannot give you any uh, specific comment on your idea until and unless i go through your business plan or your comprehensive business model Okay, Amit, uh, I hope you no. have got. No, Gunjan. Gunjan, please proceed. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. And ma'am, ma my question is, what are some of the challenges you face regarding catalyzing innovation? What are the challenges? Can you repeat it? No, ma'am. Ma'am, what are some of the challenges you face is regarding catalyzing innovations? Uh, see, uh, the first of all, your own thinking, your own perceptions. The very important thing is, you know, that when why we are not able to able, able to innovate. 
because the first important thing you know that is we somewhere we have fear to fail right if if i i talk about the first step you know that is why we are not able to get allies or we are not able to you know uh, uh, go further in the area of innovation because that is our own limitations number one thing that is my strong belief and if you if you you know challenge your perceptions if you challenge your beliefs you know nobody can stop you for uh, for you know uh, innovating second important thing is that uh, whatever you are thinking that should be practical that should be practical in the sense that should be executable right so sometimes we have lot of ideas we have five ideas so we need to screen out those ideas we need to figure out you know which can be applicable and which cannot be applicable and how you check you know the applicability of that you need to see that what are the resources you require right are these resources under your uh, you know uh, un, um, uh, under your capabilities or competencies right so that is also that is how you analyze your each and every idea right that whether because if you have an idea and you don't have any resource to materialize it right so there is no use of that so you need to check you need to analyze all the ideas all the ideas in terms of you know its execution in terms of resources and when i talk when we talk about resources you know in you know your uh, uh, physical resources your human resources and other resources right so these are the things so dr sonia i think uh, i need to join one more meeting so if you uh, allow me to uh, you know please uh, uh, leave the session if with your permission i would like to because i have my other meetings also lined up sure ma'am uh, thank you so much for giving us this much time and um, uh, this is really an extensive session and uh, i think that our students and faculty members must have been benefited thanks so much thanks a lot and um, thank you thank you so much thanks okay. a lot we will we would love to welcome your another session as well thanks so much. yeah thank you thank you very much thank you thank you ma'am thank you so much for giving your precious time to us ma'am thank you thank you dr sonia thank you So close the meeting. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.